What's going on, MG fam? The time has come, baby. Back with season seven of the Furman Paladins Team Builder Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. You know what that means. New season, new goals. Before we get started with anything else, I would like to introduce you guys to our new defensive coordinator, Travaris Robinson. He comes in at 43 years old, pretty young for a coach, and his alma mater is Auburn. He runs the 4-3 multiple, which our players are familiar with because Tim Douse, our previous defense coordinator, ran the 4-3, but the 4-3 multiple will allow us to do a little bit more. But he will have a tough task on his hands trying to contain Notre Dame in our season opener. But I believe this guy is ready to prove to our program that he is here to stay. But now let's get to the game against Notre Dame. Notre Dame comes in sporting a 95 overall compared to our 81. The talent gap is just huge. But football is not played on paper. Football is played on the field and I believe we have enough veteran leadership to pull out a win against these guys. Now we here. Season opener. What we all been waiting for. Coach McGruff on another big stage losing to Notre Dame last season in the Fiesta Bowl. He want to come out here in the Texas Classic kickoff to show America what our team is made of. So out on our first drive, he find his boy Robinson on a hitch route. 15 yard reception on the first play of the season. What a great sign. And you guys can see Riley coming out of the backfield. A new face for us, Donald Riley. He will be our starting running back this year. He had a nice little three-yard gain. So there go Jones, baby, the big tight end. We're going to need a lot of help from him this year to come out on top in our passing game. So Clark rolling out, man. It's great to have a seasoned vet at quarterback who knows how to work the offense. And he took a big hit there, but he do get us four yards. So a handoff to Riley. And look at him, man. The vision is there. He's more of a power runner. And we have Thomas, the sophomore Juco, in there for our speed. So a nice grab there for my boy Carl Thomas. Get us the first down. So we're moving the ball in our first drive. Very good. And Clark is going to roll out here. Try to get to the edge. And a great eight-yard rush. Second and two. So we're going to put Wims in motion. But we're going up the gut with Riley, baby. And Riley will take it forward for the first down. Hey, if we need some short yardage, he's there to get it for us. So a nice grab there from Branch. And he's able to get us a first down. Shifty moves there. First and goal, baby. Our first time in the red zone this season. And Clark will roll out. Come on, baby. Anderson, you got to turn around, baby. Get that catch. Get that first touchdown for us. So Clark drops back again. He feels a little bit of pressure. And he's going to get rid of that one. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was a pick. But he goes down. And he's hurt on the first drive. We bought you back, baby, to stay healthy, not to get hurt. So Boyd is out here on the screen, play to Riley, and nothing is working there, so we're going to have to settle for three. So Robbie Clark has bruised ribs. He'll return soon. That's a good sign for us. So out on that first drive, man, kind of having flashbacks already. With Williams out here, and he gets it to Harris. Harris breaks the tackle, goes out of bounds. This team right here is explosive, man. We got to be able to slow him down. Look at Scott. Come out of the backfield. The field is wide open. Can we tackle him, baby? And Bennett able to pull him down at the 25-yard line. You got to play better D, bro. It's looking like the Fiesta Bowl out here. And look at Brown. Big grab from the tight end. He scored a touchdown on us last year in the Fiesta Bowl. I believe one of the first touchdowns of the game. It was a lot, so we can't keep up. So a nice tackle in the backfield to get the turnover on downs there. And we're ready to move the chains again and get down into the red zone. So Robbie Clark rolling out. Boy, he's not that fast, but I believe he can get out of bounds, and he does, and we get a first down. So, second and eight here. He takes a shot, gets that one to Williams. He's trying to spin out of that one, but we're able to get 14 yards. Hey, we'll take a big play, small play, first downs. We'll keep the chains moving, and look at that shot. Ooh, Robinson caught that one. We put him in harm's way, but he was able to pull it down. Robbie's taking risky shots already in this game. So he tried to get the screen play. Riley is not getting any room from those defensive linemen to get us into open field. So we're going to settle for a field goal here. And Breedlove, you know he's automatic, baby. 6-0. to zero. 
So we do have a lead here in the second quarter, and we got the ball back. And look at Riley. Rumble it forward. Almost gets us the first down, so it's third and one. So we're going to hit with a play action fake. We see the safety coming down. And they bite. No, he's rolling out. And he is not going to be able to get away from the defense. So we're going to go for it on fourth down. We're going to let the big fullback go up the gut. And Alexander, did he get it? He did. That was so close. I thought we turned the ball over on downs. So out of the gun again. Robbie Clark rolling out. Look at that field wide open, baby. You better go. I know you're not the fastest, but boy, he getting a little quicker. I can see it. So we coming back with it again. Third and ten. Up on the center is Robbie. He takes a shot. And look at that arm, baby. That's why we called him back. Hey, come on back, Robbie. We need you for one more year, baby. Let's go. So Robbie gets hit pretty hard, baby. Hope he gets up. He's frustrated. So it's fourth and 19. So you know we got to go for the field goal. This will be our third field goal in the first half. We already nailed two. See if we can get this one. It's up. And it's good, baby. Bree Love. Automatic, man. Automatic. That guy has a machine for a leg. We're ranked number 35, man. They said we were going to get blowed out. But you can see that running game is almost unstoppable. They have a full field in front of them in their running game. He is running the ball. Scott has to be one of the best running backs in the nation. So coming out of the backfield again. Their running game is working on third and four. And Johnson gets pummeled. And it's fourth and three. And they're going to kick their first field goal. Let's see if we can get a block here, baby. The field goal goes up. It has the distance, but it's wide right. And we got another shot at getting the score before the half. So we're going to hand the ball up the gut to Riley's Nice spin move. And look at that boy running. He runs so swiftly, man. This guy is what you need in the backfield as a power back he's a little agile too and look at date on that big grab there falling down at the 42 yard line these guys are great route runners and look at Riley finding room baby getting us nine plus each game let's go so Robbie takes a shot deep and look at day out there by himself you know that's money touchdown the score is 16 to 0 going into the half Robbie Clark coming out here showing out, bro. That's what we're talking about. We shut out the Notre Dame Fighting Irish in the first half. This team put up like 30 points on us in one half in the Fiesta Bowl just a few months ago. So, Wims in their backfield. He finds Patterson here in the third quarter. They're probably going to try to get his offense going. So, they're going to have to keep the ball in the air if they want to come back. So, Williams takes us another shot, finds Woods. He gets the first down. We're knocking him out of bounds. So, we're going to bring some pressure from the safety position. Let's see what we can get right here. Williams again, finding Harris. We are leaving one side of the field wide open. 19-yard reception for him. So, out of the gun. The running game is non-existent right now. So, Williams is going to take another shot. He has a guy there, and Jenkins pulls it down. You see that rocket. That cannon for an arm. Williams is a Heisman contender for a reason. And he goes with the speed option. And we hit him, but he ran over my DB at the 10 yard line. So, third and four. See if we can shut these guys down and force a field goal. And Williams with a lot of time in the pocket. And we almost got the sack. But look at Patterson. Takes a hard hit, but he goes down at the two yard line. It's a first down for him. So, Williams pitches it to Scott. Beautiful play. He draw all the attention to himself. Find his running back on the option, and it's a touchdown. So these guys are back in it. Only down by nine, and we're going to come back out on our next drive. And Riley has some room following his blocks. He's not that fast, but the big boy can run. Let's go. So out of the gun, Clark once again takes a shot. Finds Robinson, man. I can see it. I can see it already. My boy Wims over there looking like a decoy, which gives Robinson a lot of time to get open. And he is making it happen for us and look at thomas the juco sophomore bro you see the speed on this kid i believe he's going to be an impact player before the season is over and look at robbie finding thomas out of the backfield thomas can catch it you know he's an athlete man that's what he came in as so we're going to hit him with a play action here and look up robbie takes a shot and it's out of bounds man but that was a great attempt i believe if he would have kept his feet in, that was great touchdown. So we get the first down on third down, and we back with it. So up the gut is Thomas, the athlete. He's breaking tackles, and we get a first down. 17 first downs to their six. 
So in motion is my boy Jones. And we're going to hand it off to Thomas. And can he get his first touchdown of his career? No, but he does get us down to the one-yard line. And we're going to let my boy Robbie Clark go up the gut. And it's a touchdown. Robbie Clark is on the board with his first rushing TD of the year. And the score is now 22-7. to seven, And we're going to go for the two-point conversion. And Robbie does get it. So the score is now 24-7. to seven. Beautiful drive. Yeah, Robbie Clark letting everybody know. I need to be up for the Heisman, baby. Let's go. So Williams is out of the backfield. Hand that thing off to Scott. And Scott is rumbling for it, man. This kid is having a great game on the ground. And they're going to continue to feed their running backs. And Johnson runs over one guy. And gets taken down at the 32. But not before the first down. So out of the gun again. Read option. Oh, he keeps it. Look at Williams. But we hit him pretty hard, baby. I thought that ball was going to come loose. So out of the gun once again. Williams. Is he going to hand it off? Oh, he keeps it. And look at Sanchez on top of him. Sanchez is like two times the size of the quarterback. So let's go. So we back with it once again. Williams with some time in the pocket. He takes a deep shot. Can we get the pick? Oh, my goodness. Come on, Hogan. You got to pull those down, baby. But great defensive play. So it's 4th and 11. They're going to kick a field goal and try to get this game within two touchdowns. He kicks it, and I believe it's going to be good. And it is. So 10 to 24, we back out with it with 17 seconds left in the third quarter. And Robbie will roll out. What is he doing? Taking a shot. And look at Williams, baby. He pulls that one down. Williams, I see you. Young fella, let's go. So we're going to go with Fly Rouse here, baby. Everybody go down the field. But look at Robbie trying to escape the pressure. And it's a fumble. And the linebacker picks it up, but we're able to take him down. And that is our third turnover of the game. We've been playing pretty disciplined the whole first half, but the second half has gotten pretty sloppy for us. So out of the gun once again, Williams and his favorite running back, Scott. And look at Scott, man. That guy is seeing everything. So look at Williams with a nice pass to Brown, and these guys are threatening to score once again. It's seeming like the tails are two halves. And look at that tackle. And Scott goes down. It's going to be a fourth and two. Big play from Sanchez. But they're going to go for it on fourth down. And up the gut is Scott. And he is not going to be stopped. And that's going to be another first down. And look at Williams. With a lot of time in the pocket. Takes a shot. And look at Copeland. Another tight end. A freshman. 6'4", 237 with his first touchdown of his career. A true freshman at that. So the game has gotten tight over here, bro. And we find Day out here in the fourth quarter with a nice grab. And my boy Robbie is going to have to take care of the football. Please don't give us another turnover. And look at Thomas out of the backfield. Give him too much room. He may break one on you, baby. Oh, he sees something different. It's going to be an audible. And look at the safety coming down. What you going to do with it, Robbie? Takes a shot, and he finds Williams. I don't know how he read that play. He just threw it up there, and Williams made it work. So look at Anderson. Y'all guys are going to get familiar with this little guy. I like little scatty receivers like him. So look at Robbie taking a shot. How did he get that one off? And Wyatt, Mike Wyatt, get his first reception. Never seen that guy catch anything. But he is here now. He's been delivered. And look at Thomas out there running the ball pretty hard, man, in the second half. And look at Robbie. Keeps it up the gut. Oh, my goodness. I thought he was going to get the first down. But we'll take third and one and hand that thing off to Thomas. And he gets on the board for his first touchdown of his career. David Thomas, the sophomore Juco. Hey, welcome to the Paladins, baby. Let's go. So out here on their next drive, the Fighting Irish are not going to lay down. And look at the block. And he made one guy miss. And it's nothing but pay dirt in front of him. Can we chase him down? He is probably going all the way. He's at the five. And it's a touchdown. How do we give up that big run play? Late in the fourth quarter, I do not understand. Let's go. So with 51 seconds left in the game, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish have a chance to tie it up. And they get it to Patterson. He jumps out of bounds. I don't know what he saw there. It was a hurdle, I believe. Maybe an imaginary one. And Williams back with it again. Some pressure, but it's not enough. And we got a great defensive play from Joe Hart there. Able to put his hands up. But look at Williams. Able to muscle forward on the quarterback sneak for the first down. So out of the gun, Williams here with 37 seconds left. 
finds his running back, fullback at that, and they do get seven yards on that one. Well, emotion is a big tight end, 23 seconds left, man. This is a big drive for the offense and even a bigger drive for the defense, but we're giving up plays left to right, and these guys are staying alive. So 14 seconds left, second down, and Williams takes a shot, and Woods pulls it down, but he does not get out of bounds, and they do not have any more timeouts. And five seconds left, four, three, two, one, and that's going to be it, baby. They ran out of time. Not able to get back in formation despite the ball. And we will walk out with the biggest upset of the season so far. Unranked Furman beats the third-ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish in opening weekend, baby. Opening weekend. That's how you shoot up the polls, baby. Beat a top-five school. So let's check out the stats, baby. Big game for us. Big win. Robbie Clark, I know you didn't want to go to the NFL and not be able to Live out this dream of beating a top five school for the first time in Furman Paladin history, man. So he didn't play the greatest game of his career, but he did enough to get us a victory. In the first half, we took care of things. In the second half, it was kind of iffy. But the running game, I'm surprised in it, man. We had more than 100 yards rushing. Between the two running backs, we had 99 yards. Thomas had 10 carries, 65 yards. Riley had 11 carries, 34 yards. You can see the power back is doing what power back does. And the speed guy is getting 20 plus yard runs. And Robbie Clark, man, the quarterback, not the fastest pocket passer guy, got us 33 yards on eight carries and one TD. A beautiful game from him. In the running game, not the passing game. They gave us 62 yards on six receptions. Very consistent, no drops. Williams gave us 69 yards on five reception, no drops. They had the only touchdown in the air, which, you know, won the game for us, really, because we only won by seven points. And the rest of the guys stepped up when they needed, but Robinson dropped the big pass for us, and Branch, he also dropped one. But the rest of the guys, anytime we threw it in their vicinity, they were able to pull it down. And defensively, Joe Hart has stepped up for us, man. This kid is starting for us for the first year. He's a junior red shirt from Key West, Florida. 6'2", 247. He can do everything. I love it that he's a coverage linebacker. Something we need going up against these spread teams. And he can play the run also. He had our only sack. And he played pretty good in the passing game. Like I said, he's a coverage linebacker. So that's what he does. No interception in the game for anyone. And only two deflections. But I appreciate you guys for watching this video, man. What a big win to open the season. Maybe this is the championship season. Maybe we go undefeated. Maybe we go to the BCS Bowl and win it this time. But hit that subscribe button and notification bell and like the video, man. And I'll see you guys next time. Let's get it.